Welcome, everyone. We want real women, everyday women who are married, our wives, our mothers. They're more mature. It's not like they're these 18-year-olds that don't know where they're going in life. Hi, I'm Jackie Siegel, and I'm the director of the 2009 Mrs. Florida America pageant. My husband is a billionaire, and I don't need to work, but this pageant for me is more like a labor of love, and I'm really doing this to help these women. My lifestyle today is like Cinderella's dream. One thing that's very important to me about this pageant, um, the Mrs. Florida pageant that I'm running, is that I want every contestant to come out feeling like a winner. Most of the women, I mean, you wouldn't believe it. They are attorneys, they're doctors. Um, a lot of them are former, they have college edu educations, and they've decided just to be mothers. If anyone gets anything beneficial from this pageant, um, that's really my goal. My name is Teresa Cruz, also known as Brian's wife, Bella and James's mommy, and Mrs. Charlotte County. My name is Bella Cruz, and I'm almost six, and my favorite thing about my mom is she's the best mommy in the whole wide world. My name is James Cruz, and I'm free, and I love my mommy. Hello, I'm Deidre Curtis, Mrs. College Park. I'm married to my husband, Brian, for 14 years. We have a seven-year-old son. His name is Trenton. Hi, I'm Jenny Casey. I'm representing Dr. Phillips. Nice. Nick, are you proud of mommy being in the Mrs. Florida pageant? You are? Did you ever think she was going to do this? <laughs> but now that she's doing this, it's pretty cool, right? But that's all part yeah. of this. <laughs> what do you think, Jay? What should we get when we win? When you win? Yeah, what do you get when you win? Do you get Florida? Do they get Florida? Florida? We get Florida, we get all the oranges we want. <laughs> we get unlimited oranges. <laughs> oranges are good. Hello, I'm Shauna Marie Taylor, Mrs. Lakeland. Hi, I'm Melissa Holsapple, Mrs. Lake Mary. Greetings from the beautiful city of Lake Mary, ranked number one for places to live in Florida. 29 years old and recently married to my husband, John. Hello, my name is Phoebe Vecchioni. I'm Mrs. Lake Sheen. Hi! Who is this? This is me and my girl. Yes. This is little child over here, Casey Ann. Uh huh. This is Booba. Yeah. Emole from Brazil. My mom gave her for Christmas. Ooh, girl. Hey, girls, don't get crazy. And this is Lisa, my oldest child. And this is Brooke, the baby girl. Okay. And this is my family. We we're at the pool, and he said, "You want to go for a ride?" I said, "Only if I drive." So I was like, "Oh God, I got this custom Harley, and the only way I could get a date." was to allow her to drive the motorcycle. Well, and did. she said if she let me drive the motorcycle, she'd go out to Pleasure Island and go dancing with me. I was like, okay. By the way, Phoebe was wearing a bikini when yes, a Brazilian bikini yeah. when we first met. So, you know. <laughs> he didn't know where to hold. I was like, weird. yes. I said, oh God, if she drops this, who cares? <laughs> Hello, I'm Susie Jones representing the fabulous city of Naples. Hello, I'm Mrs. Ocala Teresa Hyatt. Good morning, I'm Deborah Harding and I'm married to my wonderful husband Victor for 33 years and I have six incredible children and I'm so happy to be here. Hi, I'm Deborah Harding. I want to give you a little glimpse into my life. Life for me is sometimes a little fast paced, but you know I've been able to balance some of these hats. As a mother of six, it was one of those things I had to put off for a while and now I'm living the dream. Hello, my name is Heather Jahangani and I am representing Southwest Orlando. Hi, I'm Kelly Rivera, representing Tampa. Hello, my name is Ashley Colidero, representing Winter Park. It's fun activities like this that allow me to spend time, quality time, with my family, Greg, my husband, and my son, Jacob. Thank you for allowing for me to share this time with you. A warm hello from Winter Springs, Florida. I am Janet McCullough. Hi, my name is Janet McCullough. I'm very involved and have been for 16 or 17 years with Habitat for Humanity. So I'm actually framed in homes. I've helped with roofing, laying cement, uh, hammering nails, laying drywall, painting. Let me take you through the life of Janet McCullough. Ladies, remember you are in eating gowns, okay? I'm sure you guys spent a pretty penny on your gowns. Do not rush through evening gowns. 
you want to get every penny out of that dress, okay? Not that you're going to wear more than one, so take every opportunity. Walk very slow, very elegantly. I showcase the girls in the best light. So we want them to look good when they're doing their turns and their poses. So I'm just giving them some instructions on how to walk down the stairs and how to do the posing and things like that because we want everyone to look great. You have those beautiful gowns and if you rush, they will miss it. They will so miss it. And I know you guys have worked a lot of hours and your husbands have probably wanted to kill you at least a time or two um, to be here. So take it. Take every moment that you can, okay? They're doing incredible. We have a lot of new girls and I was a little nervous uh, initially because they've never competed before, but they are acting like pros. I am so excited about the group of women that we have for Mrs. Florida this year. I've only been with them four hours now, and I am so glad that I'm not a judge because I couldn't choose. It would be too much pressure on me. This year, um, we half of our contestants are pageant girls. They've done pageants in the past when they were younger, and uh, they're doing it again. The other half have never done a pageant before, and some of them are so, so scared. I mean, one girl was shaky. She was going like this. And I do have uh, my friend Patty Jo, who's a former Miss Utah USA. And she's here to coach the girls and, and just kind of um, get them comfortable. They're more mature. It's not like they're these 18-year-olds that, um, that don't know where they're going in life. I mean, these women are accomplished. They're married. They have children. They have careers. I mean, they've, a lot of them have been there or done that. And they're, they're making friends with each other. They're not don't seem to be backstabbing each other, which I'm very pleased to see because I hate when people are like that. My name is Jacqueline Stapp and I am the reigning Mrs. Florida America 2008-9. What makes this for me personally, this pageant special, is having your family involved and going on this beautiful ride and this journey with you. I have a very wonderful, supportive husband. He knows a lot about show business. He's, he's definitely taught, taught me a lot from, from the little part that I've been involved in. Um, you know, being a Grammy Award winning music artist, he's really learned the ins and outs of all aspects of the entertainment business. So I'll be at the pageant this year and I'll do my farewell final walk and my final speech and I will crown the new uh, Mrs. Florida. And, and that's gonna be it for me, but you won't see the last of me. <laughs> Why did you sign up? I thought I was. I, th I would be able to do that. I didn't realize how nervous I would you'd be. You'd be able to do the cash or you'd be able to win? Do I think I'd be able to win? Or when you joined, did you think you might be able to win? Yeah. So that Okay. That's a good thing. You've got to be proud of the fact that you are alive. You look great. You work out. You have a hobby. And your and marriage is nice for four years. And you'd be proud of yourself when you announce that. Are you happy with the way you look? No, well, I know I'm happy with Okay, 44, are you happy with the way you look? I guess. You get up there, you smile. You know? Don't ever take a minute you don't think you have. I was on a USO tour. I came out da -da -da -da, and wiped out right on my butt. My skirt went up above my head. I wanted to die. To die. With all these thousands of guys. And you just gotta get up and and walk on because your judge is not your human. We want a we want a real girl, we want a beautiful girl, but we want a real person. I'm what would happen if you said I'm a little nervous right now, but my name is this and I've been married for four years and I'm really excited to be here. That's real. That's real, you know? Smile! Hi, my name is Mary Inside, Mrs. Lake Point and Vista, and I'm excited to be here. Yeah, I want louder. No, but that was good. Did you hear the energy in your voice? Hi, my name is Miss Whatever, and I am excited to be here. I'm Lake Buena Vista. And if you forget the order, say, and I am Miss Lake Buena Vista. Just, hi, my, you know, hi, whatever. I want that energy to, hi, louder. Okay. Hi, my name is Miss is Marianne Zott, Mrs. Lake Buena Vista, and I'm happy to be, I'm excited to be here. Thank you. That was a whole different person. Because you got more confidence. So I'm going to remind you to scream. Hi, 
Hi, my name is, I don't care if it sounds odd to you. That gets your eyes going, you're beautiful, and we need them to see that. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Oh, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> and let me tell you something, not everybody wins. Yeah. You know, it took me two years. You've got so much going for you. But you gotta do this for you. And I think this is really good. And you're so beautiful. And you're nice. Do you know how nice it is to have a good personality person? such a beautiful girls this year. We don't have a, a large pageant, but we have quality contestants. And that's what's most important. These are some of the most beautiful women for the state of Florida. First of all, welcome to our home. We're happy to have you here. And uh, second, the uh, Mrs. Uh, Florida pageant is very special to me. If my wife hadn't uh, uh, become Mrs. Florida, uh, then I would not have become Mr. Florida. <laughs> Enjoy the evening. We'll see you tomorrow night. We're gonna have another big party. And then of course, uh, Saturday night is the big, big party. And good luck to all of you. Thank you. The way this is judged, 40% is based on interview, and then we have 30% evening gown and 30% swimsuit. And then that gets them to top 10, and then we do the questions on stage, and then we get to top five, and we clear the ballot, and if top five, you're asked another question, and then it goes to the winner. The way the judging is set up, there's a panel of judges, and each contestant goes in one at a time, and she'll stand there in front of the judges. She'll speak for 45 seconds to introduce herself, her name, what city she represents, and just whatever she wants to say about her. And then the judges ask her questions for the next five and a half minutes based on that. So it's conversational at that point. Well, I think um, a lot of the girls are, are nervous, even though they are mature adults, because each of them really, really want to win, and they put so much into this. They don't know if they can make one little flaw or just say one thing wrong that that could make or break if they're winning or not. Before I go into the interviews, what you do, you take a deep breath and um, when you go in, you have to make sure you have eye contact with each and every judge. Don't just stare at one judge because then the other judges are going to feel left out and they're going to give you a lower score. You just have to like, you know, go like this and just make them feel like, you know, um, uh, that each and every one of them is important, you know. The interview is very important because that's, they get a snippet of really who you are and what your personality is and how much energy you bring into it. I am a chatty patty and I tend to go off on tangents. So I've got to watch that a little bit with myself on the interview and really truly getting the meaning of the question and answering the question and then just stopping and not elaborating on a bunch of things. Okay, hit me. <laughs> Okay, well I'm Deidre Curtis, Mrs. College Park. I pretty much grew up in College Park. I'm a hometown girl. You define yourself as having an entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial spirit. Where do you get that from? Growing up, I, what my mother raised us. Um, I'm the oldest of three children. And my senior year in high school, I was actually the guardian of my brother and my sister. And I have always been very strong-willed and independent. Um, and I really wanted to do better for myself. And so I've always had that drive in me. And the law is something that I'm very much passionate about. 
passionate about, excuse me, you all seriously have a really hard job ahead of you because these women, the caliber of them is incredible and I don't know how you all are going to pick the winner, honestly. Hopefully it's me, but I don't know who you're going to pick. It went really, really good, I think. Um, yeah, just a bunch of questions. It flew by like that the, so fast. But I think I did really good. All three of the, the events, the interview, the gown, the swimsuit, I think they're all pretty even to me. I'm excited about all of them, and I'm just, I'm trying not to be nervous for any of them. The interview I practiced at home. I, my husband videotaped me. He was, you know, had the camera, and then we looked at how I move around when I talk. and. So yeah, I prepared that way and of course I wrote up what I would like to say. Good afternoon, I'm Jenny Casey, she already told you that. I grew up in Michigan, I have a bachelor's degree in graphic design and I've been in Florida for about 17 years now. Within the last year I've started modeling and acting and being in this Mrs. America pageant has just brought up to the next level of that part of my life. So I'm very happy to be here and very excited. I would like to represent Florida through being, um, to make education more, um, make people more aware of their children's education. I'd like the parents to be more involved and I'd like to be, um, help out with that. I have a serious question for you. Okay. Do you like fun? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And why? Please explain. I was typing my, my biography at the computer and my son, Jake, he's 12, he's sitting next to me reading it. He's like, and I was typing, it was about the education. I was going like, and I really enjoy, and he's like, Mom, just say fudge. You love fudge. <laughs> okay. Hello. So, the practice payoff? It did. Go? It practice went, it practice paid off. It was great. It was really fun. I'm excited. <laughs> Did they? Is your heart jumping? Yes, it's going crazy. My heart's going crazy. I just feel like jumping. <laughs> I think this is the most important part. This is the the foundation. This is finding out who Mrs. for America really is, what she's all about, what she stands for, and whether or not she can do the job and maintain the position of the title. Who is Teresa Graham? She's active in her community. She is a mother of four children. Most important role as a wife to my husband, Todd. What's your definition of success? Success is not about the home you live in or the clothes you wear or the car you drive. Success is whether or not you did the best to your ability. It, it doesn't even mean if you win or lose. If you, just because you lose doesn't mean you didn't succeed. Did you do your best? Did you put your best foot forward? And are you willing to try again until you can achieve that goal? That's the definition of success. Come in. How'd it go? <laughs> I think we're good. So on my way over here, I kind of just had a, I went online and got interview questions, and so I just kind of was kind of reviewing for a test. And so I just kind of read over them and thought to myself, okay, how would I answer these questions? So I didn't really go in front of the mirror, which I should have probably, but. I do have a bubbly personality, I'm really friendly, outgoing, and I can only be who I am, and I don't want to be someone different. And um, I have gone through a lot of speaking classes, so hopefully that will help with my interview. My name is Melissa Holsapple. I am 29 years old. I am Mrs. Lake Mary. I've lived in the Central Florida area actually since 1995, but I've been in Florida since 1989. I have a hard time being patient with some things, but, and they always say, you know, you always ask for patience, but then when you ask for patience, the Lord gives you a, a um, obstacle and you're like, why? I can't take it. What makes a good leader? Um, somebody that has a vision, has a direction, and knows where they're going and has the ability to communicate that vision and that, um, and is driven, passionate about what they're wanting. And like I was saying, communicating and making sure everybody's on the same bus and going in the same direction. It's really good. Yeah. All right. I'm a little red. <laughs> That's one of my signs that I know that I got a little nervous, but it was good. If I don't have the redness, then we have problems. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it was really good, though. I think this the secret for the success for this interview would be me being myself. What else would you add? I don't know. Yes, I'm Fivia Chioni. I was born in São Paulo, Brazil, and since I was a little girl. I always liked languages. I was fascinated by it. So I would turn the radio on and listen to the American songs and sing along. 
I had no idea what I was singing. My parents had no idea what I was singing, but they thought you know, it was so cute. And I always, always enjoyed that. So when it was time for me to choose a university, I chose the PUC, University of English Portuguese Translation. And um, I did great, loved it. And then when I graduated, it was time for me to come to the US. I just turned 40 and I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would be standing here for Mrs. Florida. So I wanna inspire them. I wanna show that yes, you can. If you put your dreams there and you put your heart in it, you can do it. So hopefully I'll be Miss Florida. <laughs> wow. Wow. They had you in there a long time. No, I, I even went a little bit over the time. Um, I had a good time. Yeah, girl, I, it was good. It was good. I was myself and they were very nice. I had fun. My passion is literacy, so I can't wait to tell them all about um, my platform of improving literacy and education. Hi, I'm Shauna Marie Taylor, Mrs. Lakeland. I'm a 32-year-old kindergarten teacher going into my sixth year of teaching, and teaching is my passion. One important lesson I've learned from them is to constantly make sure that I'm trying to better myself as an educator. They'll always, I mean, being kindergartners, you know, you think that you know, they're, they're sponges and they take everything, absolutely everything in. And, you know, just making sure that I'm following up with, you know, my continued education. Because there's always, they're always going to come up with some kind of a, some kind of a question that you may, you know, may not be able to answer. But just to be honest with them and tell them, you know, well, I'll look more into that for you. So, you know, Mrs. Taylor doesn't absolutely know everything, but, you know, we all have our, you know, quirks and, you know, that makes me happy. Uh, spending time with family, uh, my husband, which our time together is very, very limited during the school year. We're on opposite schedules and spending time with our dog and honestly any time that my husband and I do get to spend together is very much quality time and so it makes me happy to spend time with him and my family. <laughs> I need to work on my arm muscles. <laughs> How'd it go? It went well. It went very well. Um, they made me feel very, very comfortable and asked me a lot of things that I was already familiar with, so they made me very at ease. It's always good to have a background in news when you're going into something like this because you're used to asking questions, you're used to getting questions asked to you, but this is a little bit different. Actually, it's a lot of bit different because now it's more of an intense, you know, answer question form. I mean, they always tell you, oh, be yourself, be yourself, but kind of hard to be yourself when you got like you know five or six people you know grilling you on questions so hopefully it'll it'll go smoothly something I'd like to let you know about myself is I was recently laid off from my job but instead of being depressed about it I ended up turning myself around and starting an online business with my husband it's called yogobogo.com ask me about it later um, I also uh, recently did an interview with glamour magazine last month um, because I lost 30 pounds so they used me as a mentor for other people who were trying to kick Kickstart a healthy lifestyle. If you were chosen as Mrs. Florida, what would you do? What are your goals? Well, one of my goals is to use my personal struggles with weight to go out there and let other other women know that yes, of course it can be done, and you have to use the right means. You know, no quick diets. I've heard, you know, people going on protein shake diets and all this other crazy stuff, and it really is, you know, all this attention to you know what you're eating and all this other all that other good stuff. I think it went very well. Um, it was a lot more relaxing than I thought it was going to be, thank goodness. Um, but I mean, you just never know how things are going to go, but I think it went well. It's very hard because you're nervous. My fourth year and I'm still nervous, but it's, a, it's an exciting nervous. And you just need to think of them like they're your friends, your family, and you're just talking to them about things you love. Me, it's about your bio, it's about you, so you shouldn't be scared, you should be happy they're talking about your life. My name is Teresa Hyatt, I'm Mrs. Ocala. I have three boys and my husband and I chose to move to Ocala on 10 acres to raise our children so they'd have safe, safe haven, we call it. Um, it's, I'm pleased to be here, this is my fourth year. What's the biggest lesson you've learned uh, by competing in pageants? I've learned to be yourself. It's about you learn, you grow, you meet people, and you better yourself as a person. This to me, you know, I'm a mom. I usually am in my tennis shoes, my shorts, and I'm running with the boys. But this is a way to meet other women, interact, and let them know, you know, no matter what background you're from, we all have the same, we have families, we have jobs, we have careers. 
We, we're on the same boat together. I can be whoever I want to be. I don't have to let myself go because I'm a mom. You know, I can be a mother, I can be a wife, and I can be a beauty queen. <laughs> I did it. It was great. They're nice, they're normal people. It went well, I think I did pretty good. The interview, I enjoy it. It's the time to get to know the judges for them to get to know me. So as long as they don't stump me with some really hard question, then I'm, I love it. It's so nice to be here with you today. Now, I have worn many shoes in my life. I've worn military combat boots while serving in the United States Air Force, business pumps as an electrical engineer and project manager with NCR, five-inch stilettos while strutting the runway, and sneakers while building Habitat for Humanity homes. As Mrs. Winter Springs and ultimately Mrs. Florida, I have shoes and will gladly travel. I actually have a program where we're installing solar hot water systems on Habitat houses. All Solar is my supporter, and they have furnished the first solar hot water system. However, because of the economy, Seminole County stopped um, building homes for a period of time. But it is waiting, and as soon as we build that next home, it will be on that house. And that would be my platform, is putting solar on every house in the state of Florida. Not only Habitat, but everyone. I think new construction should have solar hot water systems. It, it's cost effective. There's no reason not to. Hi! It was great. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel energized. It was really good. I got to talk about solar, Habitat for Humanity, my family. I loved it. I think it just depends when I get in there and you can kind of see the vibe. I, so far I've heard everybody's been really nice and very open and welcoming and it goes pretty quickly so I'm feeling like I can go in there and I'm pretty confident but you still you never know what they're going to ask and then when you're, you're in the situation you just don't know you know what am I going to say what am I going to do so well, I guess I'll just have to see how it goes but I think I'll be okay. The interview I would say is um, very important for me to go in and actually nail it because I am coming into the competition late. I just signed up last night, so if I don't do this right, then I really have no chance. Uh, these women have been here practicing for, I guess, a year now. A lot of them have got routines and everything, and their dresses, and they have seamstresses coming in where I'm taking everything last minute and just throwing it together and hoping that it all works out. My name is Melissa Fernando. I'm 24 years old. I actually live in this area. I'm wearing the Zephyr Hills badge because they kind of coaxed me into this last night and they didn't want to mess up the routine for the rest of the girls, so um, that's me. My motto that I actually wrote for the questionnaire is, um, it is what it is. You know, I, I try not to, of course, you can't help sometimes things bother you and things will make you upset and you might treat people ways that you probably shouldn't, but you know, you always have to look back and think and just, you know, it is what it is. You can't really get too upset about little things and make it, you know, a mountain out of a molehill. You just got to kind of go with the flow and whatever happens, happens. Uh, the person you admire most is your father. Yeah. Tell us why. Yeah. Oh, I knew somebody was going to do that. Um, sorry. He's, he's just always been there and has never given up. Um, my mom left when I was younger and he just never gave up. He was always there. I think taught me to be a good person and still texts me right before I came in. <laughs> you know, just go for it, just be yourself and have fun. So that's why. Go. I'm good. I think it went really well. Um, I got a little teary-eyed. They started asking questions about my family, my dad, which is very, um, it's very close to me, so it makes me very emotional, as you can see right now. But other than that, it was great. I had a couple laughs and got to talk a little bit, so it was fun. I want the shorter girls to take your shoes off. 
eight of you and you're gonna sit in the water. Put your feet in the water. And the taller ones are gonna stay on the water. You're ready with your hands down. And that's over with. <laughs> Everybody's here. This is fun. Oh my god. What's up with this? Oh my god, look at you. You're beautiful. My god. Tell me about your day. So, how's everything going? Fine, I had a great time. Yeah. Interviews. Oh yeah, how'd that go? Yeah, it you went well. Yeah. yeah, it went well. Yeah. I was a little nervous, but it went through fine. They were very nice. Did you get stuck on any questions or no, what? No, they asked stuff about us. Oh no. They asked what I like about you Ooh, and yeah. Uh, I said I like his discipline. Yeah? Yeah, I wanna be like him. Yeah. I'll try to be a role model. I know you are for me. She's the looks and I'm the yeah. money. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, oh, what can we do? <laughs> nice team. The opposites do attract. How's today going? It's good. Yeah. Interview's yeah. over. And I think it's a good time. I think everyone, everyone here is going to be It's going to be really hard. But tonight we get the pool, the party. Yeah, we get to eat dinner yeah. here, right? The people seem really nice. Very nice. Nick, are you proud of mommy being in the party? You are? Did you ever think she was going to do this? <laughs> but now that she's doing it, it's pretty cool, right? But that's all part yeah. of it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Jay? What should we get when we win? When you win? Yeah, what do you get when you win? Do you get Florida? They get Florida. We get Florida, we get all the oranges we want. <laughs> I want all of the girls to get comfortable with um, getting up in front of an audience. And now this is just each other right now, so that they'll better prepare them for tomorrow night when they're in front of the large audience. The interviews went wonderful today. The girls love the judges. The judges love the girls. And um, they all had positive attitudes both and, on both sides. So, um, so far they said, wow, 40% is already over. So they're like, woo! I am very happy with the state selection that we have. Um, I think that it's, it's going to be difficult um, for, for uh, the judges to choose which winner to pick. eats real well, exercises off the charts, and then the husband has this big role. And the big role is you carry her stuff, you make sure she gets where she needs to be, and then you do anything else she wants. That's my role. She's a great mother, number one. I think Mrs. America, I know it's not Mrs. Mom or anything, but um, a lot of these wives are mothers, and she's an excellent mother. Hi, everyone. Beautiful women and wonderful husbands and supportive husbands. Thank you for loaning your wives to me. <laughs> um, well, we got through 40% um, of the judging today. Yay! <laughs> so I thought maybe what we could do tonight, since it's just our small, intimate group the, with the husbands, wives, families, um, children, is have each contestant and her husband come up here at the microphone introduce themselves and just tell a, a short story of how they met. Good evening everybody. This has been just an incredible, incredible experience for me. And uh, where's she? There you are. I'm right here. I want to give you a hug. I'm sorry. You have done, just this woman has done an incredible, incredible job putting this pageant together. She's worked incredibly hard and we've all yeah. seen your great efforts. This has just been an amazing experience. I would like everybody to please raise a glass and thank our director. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.
Cheers. Thank you. Good evening. How I Met My Husband it was about 10 years ago. I was working at Wonderworks, you know, the upside down building on International Drive. And I developed their education program and wrote the curriculum that they still use today for field trips and for science uh, education. And after I wrote that curriculum, we had a thought at Wonderworks to um, get sponsorships. So we approached the Orlando Magic because we had a virtual reality basketball game, we had a virtual reality hockey game, and we thought, hey, the Orlando Magic would pay us to put their logo on our virtual reality basketball player. Well, the gentleman that I had to run this by and get approval from was Brian Cruz. So we met, uh, gave him a tour of the facility. But I have to say, as soon as I shook his hand and said, nice to meet you, the first thing in my head was, oh my God, I just met the man I'm gonna marry. <laughs> and it was the craziest thing, because I obviously never felt that before. And uh, <laughs> turns out, a year and a half later, we were married. And he thought the exact same thing when he shook my hand, and we have witnesses, because I went upstairs to my office and told someone, I just met the man I'm gonna marry, and he did the same thing. So that's how we met. When I met my husband in 1992, actually flash, flash back in 1987, I think, um, he dated my best friend in high school, actually. <laughs> she was a freshman, I was also a freshman, he was a senior. Flash forward my senior year in high school, I was about ready to graduate, and I worked at Walgreens. Yes, I worked at Walgreens. <laughs> and he had come in, and he had just had eye surgery and had an eye patch over his eye. And I recognized him from high school four years or three years earlier and smiled at him. His mother was with him. And after they left to hear the, his mother tell the story, it's quite humorous actually. Oh my goodness, that girl smiled at you. She likes you, get her number, all that good stuff. And so for months, he would come in and buy a Diet Coke and a candy bar. Mind you, he's diabetic and would ask when I was working, and um, for several months he did that, and he had the nerve then to ask me out, I had a boyfriend, and I said I had a boyfriend, and he said, I said I could be friends with him, and he said, I've got enough friends. And after that I ditched my boyfriend and started dating him, and we married in 1995, five, oh my God. <laughs> We just celebrated our 14-year wedding anniversary on July 29th, and we've been together 17 years. Good evening, I am Timmy Vecchioni. This is my husband, Marty Vecchioni, crazy man. Um, we met while I was on vacation with my mom. Um, she's sitting right there, doesn't speak a lot of English. And at the time, he started talking to me, and she said, don't talk to that man. She had no idea what he was talking. Um, but. Um, she looked at me right now. <laughs> but he invited us to go to Pleasure Island, and she really wanted to go, yeah. We had like a little competition here. Uh, in order for me to get her to go to Pleasure Island to go dancing, I was driving my Harley Davidson, which was pretty tricked out in custom, and she goes, look, uh, if you want me to go dancing with you tonight, you're gonna have to let me drive that bike. I'm like, oh my God, look at that. <laughs> So I go around, I pick her up at the swimming pool, and she's in this real tiny Brazilian bikini. She goes, okay, and I'm like, all right, so you know how to do this, right? She goes, of course. So of course she jumps on the motorcycle. And I did good, right? I didn't oh mess it God. up. Oh my God, didn't stall it out, pull it out, drove around the parking lot, I That's said, right. okay. And then we went out that night, went to Pleasure Island, and my mom would not speak the language. So but I gave her a beer. He used, it, he used the universal <laughs> language. He just bought her a Budweiser. Oh, she mom. loved him, oh, loved him. I went back to Brazil, and we kept exchanging letters and phone calls. Thanks God for phone, phone cards. Uh -huh. And uh, then I finally came here, and we got married. Been married for 15 years. Time goes by so fast when you're having fun. Love to go dancing, and now we have four little girls, two Maltese, two Yorkies. They have the little tails. They are the love of my life. Besides him, of course. Oh, okay. We love dancing. <laughs> but the music one. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I'm Teresa Hyatt. This is my wonderful husband, Don. We've been married 15 years this September. I met him 
I was taking Taekwondo. And needless to say, I liked my instructor. <laughs> so, third degree black belt later, I have the man of my dreams and three gorgeous boys and the perfect life any woman would ever want. And thank you. I'm blessed. Thank you. Okay, I hope the husband doesn't get mad, but I don't know how to say your last name. John Gotti. Ja oh, John Gotti. Actually, uh, John, I thought John Gotti died. No, you know what? And that, that, that actually gives me a story that I wasn't even going to tell. But we met at college at Bradley. And um, we were friends for a long time. I actually thought his name was John Gotti. Because I already called him John Gotti. And I thought, John Gotti. So I'm looking through the books and trying to find his last name. So I'm call him. I want to see him again. And there's no John Gotti. So... We end up seeing each other again in the bar, mixer or something like that. We're in college. And, uh, and what, you had lost my thought. We tried to get together for a long time. We were friends, we were dating other people, and it didn't happen. I became his close friend, who he, um, who he used me for, for doing art homework. Yes. For a long period of time. <laughs> it was the following year that we started dating. I was 19 years old. We dated for about, what, five years? Got married at 23 and have been married for six years and have two beautiful children. So, we are ever-changing. Somehow we're still together. We're complete opposites. <laughs> but um, but we love each other and we're so happy to be here. Do you have anything to say? Thank you. Hello, everyone. Oh. This, my name is Kelly, and this is my husband, Raul, and my daughter, Mia, and my little Alexa over there, and my mommy. Um, our story isn't probably, well, it is pretty exciting. Um, Raul and I met in Las Vegas. Not really the place you probably want to meet your future spouse. Um, I was scared of him. I thought he was in the mafia. And um, he thought, <laughs> cover your little kid's ears. <laughs> He thought I was an H-O-O-K-E-R. So, um, I'm Janet, this is my husband, Neil, and he called me for a blind date. We have mutual friends down here in Orlando. I was living up in Georgia at the time, had gotten a job transfer to Atlanta. And he calls me and he says, I'd like to take you out on a date. And he said, here's a description of what I look like. I said I was uh, a little short, a little fat. I was like 5'4", 260 but I'll be in a gray suit. I said, okay, when you coming up? And uh, he came up, he came off the airplane. It was hard for me to recognize him since he's 6'2", almost. And uh, anyway, we, we had a fabulous weekend. We went to a hockey game, we played tennis, we hiked up Stone Mountain, we just like did it all. And what he, we were gonna do when he came up, I had to drive him to his bicycle race. And he said, oh, it's just maybe an hour drive. Well, it turned out it was a three-hour drive. So he felt guilty. So he said, well, let me at least take you out for dinner. I said, oh, I'm not hungry. I said, I'll just eat a little salad. So we stop and we eat. And I must have eaten a seven-course meal and licked my plate clean. So the gig was kind of up at that point. But um, afterwards, he said, well, can I shake your hand or should I just say goodbye? I said, well, just say goodbye. And, uh, but he still calls me back, and after two weeks on the telephone, I let it slip, the words, I love you. And uh, after that, he would fly up every week. And fortunately, back in that day, you could get a pack of tickets with Kiwi, and it was very inexpensive, so. But he finally decided, I think, that it was... Much cheaper to marry her than to keep buying tickets every week to fly to a I don't know about that. <laughs> I actually met my husband when I was in high school. I was 16 and I went to a party with a couple of girlfriends of mine. And I remember walking in the door and turning the corner and seeing this face and thinking, that is the most beautiful creature I have ever seen. <laughs> I know that sounds really strange, but that's exactly what I thought. Was, I mean, I was just totally taken away. And ever since, um, it's been one of those relationships where he's gone here and done his thing and I go over here but we always stayed in contact and we always met up and I went to visit him while he was in school um, for culinary in San Francisco. And then within a month after that, he drove cross country, graduated, drove from San Francisco to Orlando and then eight months later we got married. I, I hope this um, helped everyone get a little bit more comfortable in front of, of being in front of a crowd. Um, I'm not comfortable being in front of a crowd. <laughs> Yes. 
Oh, well, I, I was married. I won Mrs. Florida. Then I produced the Mrs. Florida pageant. My current winner had a birthday party. While I, well, I, I was going through a divorce at the time. Oh, he's going to come up and tell the story. You tell him. You're going to tell the story. Of the but if I didn't win Mrs. Florida, I would have never met my husband. And I wouldn't have seven children to show for it. The truth is, she was an H-O-O-K-E-R. I was in Las Vegas looking. Hookers are cheaper than wives. That's true. Tomorrow we get the rehearsals. Um, I mean, you're all beautiful, and I hope you've exchanged phone numbers. I hope everyone becomes friends, and I'd love to be friends with you even after this and keep in touch. And. Um, um, be part of our network and, and be invited to our, our future parties and um, charity events and um, and um, just I don't know if I, how to say it may the best girl win but you're all the best <laughs> thank you Um, to the pageant. I'm so excited. The stage is almost built, so we're getting ready to go and do the rehearsal with the girls on stage. I'm just waiting for it to be um, completed and safe. We're taking, doing a walkthrough through the spa. I'm showing the girls where they're going to put their makeup on, changing to their evening gowns and swimsuits. And um, there's a lot of excitement here. There's already people um, coming around asking, how do we get tickets? Can we come? I'm getting a little bit nervous. I'm getting a little bit nervous. I won't lie. You know? Final dress rehearsal. Final dress rehearsal. We're finally getting to see the stage. This, you know, we haven't seen the stage in like the whole time we're here. So the whole time we're trying to pretend about stairs and we don't know what we're doing. And so at least now we're, you know, Guys, we got a lot to do, so we got a lot to happen right now. We got the stage, the show starts in a couple of hours, so let's get everything tied together. We're gonna rehearse all the stages, swimsuit, evening gown, opening number, and top five and top ten. Are you guys ready? All right, all right, let's get going. Introduce the delegates for the title of Mrs. Florida America 2009. We're two steps down. Stay about two steps apart. Ladies, we actually have the stairs now. When you're on the side, when you pay attention, when you get to here and it's your turn to go, do not walk down the stairs without without the rail. Go to the middle rail and come down. Okay, I don't want anybody falling or, or anything. Okay? So go from here to here, just like this, and then come down the steps, okay? And then you go to your mark.
Because guess what? Guess what is right up those stairs? That's right, the ladies you're here to see tonight. So how about a round of applause? Let them know you're down here. <music> ladies and gentlemen, these are the contestants for Mrs. Florida 2009. Round of applause. Let them hear for you. Let's introduce our contestants, starting with Mrs. Charlotte County. Good evening, my name is Teresa Cruz, but I'm also known as Brian's wife and Bella and James's mommy. Good evening, I am Deidre Curtis, and this is College Park. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jenny Casey. I'm married to Tom Casey. I'm the proud mom of three beautiful children. Hi, I'm Teresa Graham, proud wife of Todd and four amazing children. Good evening, I'm Shauna Marie Taylor, proud wife of Brandon Taylor. Good evening, my name is Melissa Holsapple and I'm recently married to my wonderful husband, John. Good evening, I am Phoebe Vecchioni. I've been married to my husband, Marty, for 15 years and my passion is animal rights. Good evening, I'm Susie Jones. My lovely husband's name is Jason. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. I've been married to my wonderful husband, Don, for 15 years. We have three gorgeous boys. Hi, I'm Deborah Harding. I'm married to my wonderful husband, Victor, for 33 years. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Heather Jahangani. I've been married to my husband, John, for the past six years. Good evening, everyone. My name is Kelly Rivera, and I am Mrs. Tampa. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ashley Coley Dara proud wife of Greg Dara and my five-year-old son, Jacob. I am the proud wife of Neil McCullough, an electrical engineer by day. But as a family, we are multidimensional. We enjoy building Habitat for Humanity homes, and we also enjoy rollerblading on the rails and trails throughout the state of Florida. Good evening, everyone. My name is Melissa Amber Fair Anato. I'm 24 years, 24 years old and proud to be from the Sunshine State. Ladies and gentlemen, there are your contestants for Mrs. Florida 2009. Have about a big round of applause for these ladies. <laughs> ladies, good luck this evening and your head backstage. So far, so good. I'm a little weary of the elevator, so I don't want to be on an elevator with too many people on it. <laughs> Which is kind of where all the girls get freaked out when I like the elevator jumps and I'm like, I have to go, I have to get off. So, we got people in the elevator. They're coming up. Mm -hmm. No, the elevator won't open. Oh. Aha! Okay. okay. All right. Yay, we got stuck in the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my god, so first of all, we're stuck in this elevator and we're trying to get up and there's like 20 of us Okay, we're on the elevator. And we're thinking. Oh, yeah, no problem. Hit three. Um, not going anywhere Not going anywhere Okay, not going anywhere. So then half of us have to go into another elevator and then that one takes us to the first floor and we're trying to hit, get it to the third floor and the door is closing and opening and it's not like cooperating so we're all freaking out just trying to get in swimsuits and like, you know, it's just craziness. But we are ready for our swimsuit competition. And as Jacqueline said, this is probably the hardest part of the competition for these women to come out here in a swimsuit and heels. So they're gonna need all the support they can have this evening from you out here. So we're gonna begin our swimsuit competition. Our first contestant, Mrs. Charlotte County, Teresa Cruz. Please welcome Mrs. College Park, Deidre Curtis. Jenny Casey, Mrs. Dr. Phillips. Please welcome Mrs. Jacksonville, Teresa Graham. Next up, Shauna Taylor, Mrs. Lakeland. Please welcome Mrs. Lake Mary, Melissa Holsapple. And next on the stage, Mrs. Lake Sheen, Phoebe Vecchioni. Next up is Susie Jones, Mrs. Naples. Please welcome Mrs. Ocala, Teresa Hyatt. Next up, Deborah Harding, Mrs. Orlando. Please welcome Mrs. Southwest Orlando, Heather Jahangani. Please welcome Mrs. Tampa, Kelly Rivera. Next up, Mrs. Winter Park, Ashley Dara. Please welcome to the stage, Janet McCullough, Mrs. Winter Spring. And our final contestant in swimsuit, Mrs. Zephyr Hills, Melissa Farrah Anato. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the 15 contestants for Mrs. Florida 2009. How about a big round of applause for them? They can hear you. Everybody told me I'm supposed to do this, and we change it so many times that it just gets to be funny. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't even. But know you know what? It doesn't matter. You just go out there, you have fun. It doesn't oh, matter. Okay, go ahead, ladies. the swimsuit competition and it was nerve-wracking honestly because I'm not really comfortable in a swimsuit however I'm trying to be confident enough and just love my body that I'm in and so now I'm getting ready to go into the evening gown part so I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and look beautiful and hopefully knock them dead here's how swimsuit went I'll tell you the lowdown it went quick but thank God it went quick because who wants to be walking around in a swimsuit with a thousand people watching you certainly not myself but hopefully I pulled it off and maybe no one saw you know my little thigh ripple <laughs> All right, I have a special treat for you, and the treat is that I'm not going to sing, but I have someone that can sing quite well. Yeah, <laughs> is that for me not singing? Thank you. I'm gonna bring to the stage a young lady who knows what it's like to be on stage. Leah's been performing since the age of six, which I think was like two years ago, when her talent was discovered. Oh no, she's 12 years old, and she has a great resume already, including sharing the stage with vocal greats like Natalie Cole, she shared the stage with Sting, as well as acting on the small and large screens with Paris Hilton, Eddie Murphy, and Katherine Heigl. Here for your entertainment, please welcome to the stage, she's cute as a button, 12-year-old Leah Lewis. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Leah Lewis. Um, he told you. Um, I'm 12, and I'll be singing an original song called Some Day You Might Belong to Me. And this song was specially written for the orphans around the world who wish they were adopted like I was. I hope you enjoy it.
swimsuit's over. We can put clothes back on. <laughs> I think that's the most scary part because you're half naked in front of thousands of people who just had cocktails. <laughs> okay. So, you look like you're feeling pretty good. You know what? My daughter told me that I look like Sleeping Beauty in this dress. And I feel like, yeah, sure. If she thinks that I look like a princess, this must be a pretty good dress. <laughs> but I did that and I kept, when I would walk, it pops out. out. Where's the seamstress? If she's got a pin, and you, we can pin the inside, yeah. this will be fine. 911. But I'm going to tell you, don't stress about it because that's not going to show. Yeah. Don't let that take away from your smile on stage. Okay. Woo, it's showtime. I'm ready. You're about to see our 15 contestants. Yeah, a round of applause for them. Let's bring the beautiful women down right now, our 15 finalists in evening wear competition. Beginning with Miss Charlotte County, Teresa Cruz. Please welcome Mrs. College Park, Deidre Curtis. Please welcome to the stage, Jenny Casey, Mrs. Dr. Phillips. Please welcome to the stage, Mrs. Jacksonville, Teresa Graham. Please welcome Mrs. Lakeland, Shauna Taylor. Please welcome to the stage, Mrs. Lake Mary, Melissa Holsapple. Next up, Mrs. Lake Sheen, Phoebe Vecchione. Next up is Mrs. Naples, Susie Jones. Please welcome to the stage, Mrs. Ocala, Teresa Hyatt. Please welcome Deborah Harding, Mrs. Orlando. <laughs> Next up is Miss Southwest Orlando, Heather Jahanjani. Please welcome Mrs. Tampa, Kelly Rivera. Please welcome Mrs. Winter Park, Ashley Guerra. Please welcome Mrs. Winter Springs, Janet McCullough. Please welcome Mrs. Zephyr Hills, Melissa Farah Anato. How about a round of applause for all 15 contestants in evening wear competition. Give it up, much need, a lot more laugh, a lot more applause there, they can hear you upstairs. It was great, everything was wonderful, perfect. And so now you just have to start your stuff a few more times. That's right, we're doing good. Okay, everything went great. First time in my gown, everything went great. Um, so excited to finally be able to use all this hard work that we've that we've been practicing this whole entire weekend, and it was so nice to be able to showcase the gown, and it went wonderful. Okay, she's in there. It's over. First well, so far. So, so now we have to do a mix to the top right. ten, and then after the top ten, goes to the top five. So I'm a little nervous. I kind of I want to go to the top ten, but then I'm a little nervous because I have to actually answer a question. So, but it's more. I think I need a drink. It was great. Beautiful. Everybody looks beautiful. It's going to be hard. Everyone's fussing. Everyone is fussing right now, but I mean, really, I'm just waiting to get some Pizza Hut later. I'm so serious. This thing is over. I mean, they picked who they're picking. You know, what's there to stress about? I mean, if my stash is down, well, I mean, what am I supposed to do? Is that going to be my disappoint? Sophia, I'm just, you know. You're good. She's good to go. I just yeah. fixed her pin so it won't fall off or slip off of her shoulder. And Yay. that's what a good friend that I am. All right, you, you, you've you talked to everybody in the audience, including me, but let's bring back the real stars of the evening. Once again, our 15 uh, contestants for Mrs. Florida 2009. Here they come down, ladies. Round of applause for these ladies, please. Here we go, and I don't know if you heard the good news, but we don't have a top 10, we have a top 11. So here we go. Our first semi-finalist for Mrs. Florida 2009, that's Mrs. College Park, Deidre Curtis. Our next semi-finalist is Mrs. Dr. Phillips, Jenny Casey. Please welcome semi-finalist number three, Shauna Taylor, Mrs. Lakeland. 
And our fourth semifinalist, Mrs. Lake Sheen, Phoebe Vecchioni. Please welcome semi-finalist number nine, Miss Ocala, Teresa Hyatt. And our semi-finalist number six, please welcome Miss Southwest Orlando, Heather Jahangani. <laughs> semi-finalist number seven, Mrs. Winter Park, Ashley Dara. Please welcome semi-finalist number eight, Mrs. Winter Springs, Janet McCullough. Our semi-finalist number nine for the evening, Mrs. Zephyr Hills, Melissa Farah Anato. Our 10th semi-finalist, Mrs. Naples, Susie Jones. And as we said, we have an 11th semifinalist. Does that, that does not mean it's the 11th score. They were all done in random order. Please welcome semifinalist number 11, Mrs. Tampa, Kelly Rivera. Ladies and a round of applause for our top 11 semifinalists for Mrs. Florida 2009. Oh good, it was a great experience. I'm really glad that I did it. You got to step out of the box. Somebody's got to win, and I wish whoever it is good luck. I mean, the people that they called and look at all the women, they're just so beautiful, you know, and they're talented and they're accomplished. And so I think everyone that was out there truly was a winner. The fact that we made it on stage with a bathing suit on, <laughs> that makes, you know, that's a lot of courage right there. So I think everyone was a winner. But, um, but no, I, I am, this is my very first time, so I certainly didn't expect to be in the top 10. Sorry to see everybody so soon. <laughs> oh. Okay. What just happened? Um, well, they announced the top 10, and, or actually top 11. They actually added one more person, and I wasn't one of them, so, which is okay. I mean, even during the rigor, I'm about to cry, and I'm sorry. But even like during, sorry, <laughs> even during the rehearsals, like, Even like um, Mrs. Siegel, for example, and a lot of the girls, you know, they said that they didn't make it to the, all the girls are looking at me right now. Okay, make me come, please. Go, please go, please go, go. <laughs> sorry, it's a kind of part. Um, Oh, but a lot of the other girls um, that have won, they did it again the next following year and they won. And so, hopefully with my husband's permission, I'll probably come back again next year and compete again and just do my best like I did today. Aww. I already had my cry, so I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're a winner. Do you know how many thousands of women thought about doing this? No. And they didn't? You did it. You too, kid. And ladies, I will tell you that any one of you would be proud to have you in our top five. And as our winner, you've done a fantastic job. And thank you for being so patient. Round of applause for them real quick, guys. They've done a great job. And here we go. I'm going to name our top five finalists. And these are in no particular order. You ready, ladies? Here you go. Our first finalist for Mrs. Florida 2009, please welcome Mrs. Lakeland, Shauna Taylor. Our next semi-finalist, excuse me, finalist for Mrs. Florida 2009, Mrs. Lake Sheen and Phoebe Vecchioni. Oh. 
Our semi, our finalist number three, please welcome Mrs. Southwest Orlando, Heather Jahangani. And our finalist number four, please welcome Mrs. Tampa, Kelly Rivera. And our final finalist vying for Mrs. Florida 2009, Mrs. Winter Springs, Janet McCullough. How about a round of applause for our top five finalists for Mrs. Florida 2009. We had top 11 and um, we all, I'm sure all of us did the best job we could and answered our questions as honestly as possible. And who knows what the judges are looking for. That's what it is, you know. For me personally, it doesn't matter if I won or not. It takes a lot for us women to do this, to put ourselves out there like that. And you learn from all of that experience um, to where then you can better yourself in a normal so social environment or in business or, or whatever. I've competed four years in a row and I've never made the top 10, never. So this is a milestone. I'm proud of myself. I, can't, I couldn't have done anything different. I've trained hard, I looked the best I thought I could look, and it's just a different judge on a different night. You never know what they're looking for. We First up, Mrs. Lakeland, Shauna Taylor. Shauna, if you'll hand me the question. Are you ready? Here you go. Shauna, if you could change anything about your husband, what would it be? Ooh, if I can change one thing about my husband, I would have to say, maybe not make him as good looking as he is. I'm afraid someone's gonna try to snatch him away from me. Thank you. That's Shauna Taylor, Mrs. Lakeland. Please welcome Mrs. Lake Sheen, Phoebe Vecchioni. Grab a question there, Phoebe. Stir them up. All right, Phoebe. Now, if we asked Tell me the one thing your husband would change about you. Oh, wow. That's a tough one. He loves me so much. I don't think he would change anything, to be honest with you. Right, honey? Yeah, well, maybe maybe when we go out dancing, sometimes he complains I'm going too fast. But everybody said that I won that contest. That was not him. So here we go. That's Mrs. Lake Sheen, Phoebe Vecchioni. Please welcome Mrs. Southwest Orlando, Heather Jahangani. All right, Heather, what makes your marriage successful? We've had about six years of successful marriage. It really takes a lot of patience, trust, understanding. Of course, little tips and quarrels come through, but you gotta just Take it day by day and, and, and realize that you chose that person for a reason and things look at past, but you're always gonna have them for the rest of your life as long as as long as you take things day by day and you have patience with your relationship. Thank you, Heather Jahangani, Miss Southwest Orlando. And next up, Mrs. Tampa, Kelly Rivera. All right, Kelly, why do you want to win the title of Mrs. Florida 2009? To win the title of Mrs. Two, excuse me, of Mrs. Florida 2009, you know, it's, it's a lot. Um, first of all, I, I want, I live with an attitude of gratitude and I wanna be able to give back to the community, to the state of Florida, 
for the things that I have been so very blessed with. Um, throughout my entire life, there have been individuals that have touched me and have supported me, and um, I want, it sounds very cliche, but I want to pay it forward. So that's what I would do with my title. That's Mrs. Tampa Kelly Rivera. And our last finalist is Mrs. Winter Springs, Janet McCullough. Stir it up, I think there's only one left. <laughs> All right, Janet, one piece of advice to newlyweds. That would be to maintain a friendship in your marriage. I have to say that Neil possesses a heart of unconditional love. He always is willing to meet me in the middle. And in our hectic times, he still wants to have a date night with me. But ladies, remember, on a road trip, one is never lost, merely taking the scenic route. Thank you, Mrs. Winter Springs, Janet McCullough. Ladies and gentlemen, there is your top five for Mrs. Florida 2009. I'm glad I'm not judging. Another round of applause. Ladies, you're off the stage. Thank you so much. got you here and then I get oh. asked one thing to change about my husband I'm like <laughs> you did good it's though he did a great job looking that was cute that was really cute yeah. Yeah. I like the answer I'm gonna bring Jacqueline back up here for just a second come on up Jacqueline and we are gonna get something that no one else in this country gets and that is a really quick song by Scott Staff how's that Sung to his beautiful wife as she does her actual final walk as Mrs. Florida 2009. Jacqueline and Scott. All right, this is a song I wrote for Jackie. She walks away in silence. She walks away to breathe. Stopped and turned around and say goodbye to me. I'm pleading as you're leaving. I'm begging you to stay. I'm not the man I used to be, I've changed. I'm not the man I used to be, I've changed. Don't give up on us, don't give up on love. If my life is the price, then my life it will cost. Don't walk away in silence. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's Mr. and Mrs. Scott Staff. Thank you so much, Jacqueline. Thank you, Scott. Ladies, are you ready? We'd be glad to have any one of you five. Do we have our results? And to assist with our crowning will be, of course, Jacqueline Staff, Mrs. Florida 2009. And we can probably drag Scott up here, too. Why not? We've enjoyed having him on stage. Jacqueline, are you ready? Here we go, guys. Our fourth runner-up for Mrs. Florida 2009, Mrs. Tampa, Kelly Rivera. Our third runner-up for Mrs. Florida 2009, Mrs. Southwest Florida, Orlando, Heather Jahangani. Ladies and gentlemen, our second runner-up for Mrs. Florida 2009, Shauna Taylor, Mrs. Lakeland.
And there you have it, guys. Who do we got left there? We have Mrs. Winter Springs and Mrs. Lake Sheen. One will be our new Mrs. Florida, and one will be the first runner-up. And I don't have to tell you how valuable the first runner-up can be, especially if our new Mrs. Florida is crowned Mrs. America in Tucson in September. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage. I'll start with our first runner-up. Our first runner-up for Mrs. Florida 2009 is Mrs. Lake Sheen, Phoebe Vecchioni. That means our new Mrs. Florida 2009 is Mrs. Winter Springs, Janet McCullough. the roses in the sash and we're gonna let her do our walk our brand new mrs florida 2009 janet mccullough <music> janet wants me to tell you her secret she is 50 years old and she's our new mrs florida 2009 congratulations janet I'm the lucky one. That goes without saying. Well, it's different for you this year. I think having all the family, we all shared one of the resort rooms here. And it was just, I don't know, it was more comfortable and more relaxed. And it was more about the family than it was about me this time. In this year that you have seen this Florida, what do you hope to accomplish? I want to travel the state building homes for Habitat for Humanity, and I want to install solar hot water systems on them, and I want to raise awareness